Hey, Mike here. State-of-the-art AI performance is surpassing human performance in so many of these fields. Now, in the beginning, it did take quite a lot of time for an AI model to surpass a human. You can see the human's performance here at the 100% human performance mark, of course. And something such as handwriting recognition, you see here the development of it started in 1998. It goes up and it makes some progress here and there. It hasn't really surpassed until 2012, eh, 2013 more so. Same thing goes for speech recognition. The technology started a long time ago. It hasn't really improved as drastically as these more recent models have. And only in 2016 to 2018, has it surpassed human performance. Now, the crazy thing here is we've only recently started doing things such as reading comprehension, code generation. And as you can see from the starting point of trying to make AI models that understand these concepts, it's taken a lot less time for the AI to understand not only what's going on, but to surpass human performance. As you can see here, back in 2019, we started doing common sense completion when it comes to AI and just recently has it hit that 100% mark. Now, code completion is not there yet. Image recognition is still not at 100%, but I mean, how much longer do you think it'll take? To me, it seems like it'll take a few more months. Now here, Will Henshaw from Time, he mentions that the scaling hypothesis predicts that very powerful AI systems are fairly likely to be developed in the next decade. Now, if you're wondering what transformative AI means, it's basically AI that if deployed widely, would precipitate a change comparable to the Industrial Revolution. Now, here is a friendly reminder as to what the Industrial Revolution truly was. It was a period of significant change in human history that occurred between the mid-18th century and the mid-19th century. It was a time of transition from manual labor to machine-based manufacturing, which led to the development of new technologies and innovations. So yeah, we're talking about steam engines, we're talking about the beginnings of machinery. The Industrial Revolution was basically an evolution event for humanity, in my opinion. And so yeah, that is what they are predicting here. Epoch, which is a leading AI forecasting company, forecasts when AI systems will be able to almost perfectly reproduce text outputs such as scientific papers based on forecasts for how computational power used to train AI will increase and how next word prediction performance improves with computational power. Long story short, they are predicting a 50% chance of transformative AI being developed before 2033. And here you have two heads of the most influential AI companies, Dario Amode and Sam Altman, talking about human-level AI as well as AGI. In August, Dario Amode, co-founder and CEO of Anthropic, said he expects a human-level AI could be developed in two to three years. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, believes AGI could be reached sometime in the next four or five years. Moving on to more outer space thinking, this is probably one of the last big lander missions without an AI on board. Humans already anthropomorphize these landers as brave little emissaries. With an LLM captain giving dramatic mission reports in voice, people will be completely entranced. You can give the LLM a mission rank name and it can conduct daily briefings in a custom voice describing the beauty of its surroundings, decisions it's made, and dangers it overcame while out of contact. Any current frontier model doing this would charm the hell out of people. I think Mark Zuckerberg is going to be the next attack vector when it comes to what the decel class, basically those who want to pause or stop or even roll back AI, which, yeah, good luck with that. They really want to scare him. When decels panic, that's when you know you are really cooking. Zuck's ambition is starting to scare the decel class. They will likely start attacking him like they do to Elon and other accelerationists. And and yeah, you can see an article on The Guardian here saying that very scary Mark Zuckerberg's pledge to build advanced AI alarms experts. What do you think kids should be studying these days? Resilience, uh, adaptability, a high rate of learning, creativity, certainly familiarity with the tools. Mm -hmm. So should kids still be learning how to code? Because I've, I've heard people say, don't need to learn how to code anymore. Um, just math, just biology. Well, I'm biased because I like coding, but I think you should learn to code. I don't write code very much anymore, although I randomly did yesterday. But learning to code was great as a way to learn how to think. And I think coding will still be important in the future. It's just going to change a little bit or a lot. We have a new tool. Anyway, those are today's tech insights to get you caught up with everything. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to all of our Patreons here, and I will catch you in the next video.